On my kick tonight, Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi has lately been making some spine-chilling projections about the forthcoming general election. By my count, the Cabinet Secretary has for the second time now made the statement to the effect that the next parliament may be populated by money laundering criminals because according to Matiangi, the money launderers, commonly known as Wash Wash, are running the show in their ongoing political campaigns. Let me be exact here by giving CS Matiangi the opportunity to put it in his own words. Late last month, CS Matiangi addressed a gathering of Anglican clergymen in Nairobi and made this statement. If we are not careful as Kenyans, let me say this today in public, if we are not careful, by the time we are done with this electoral cycle, we will have laundered criminals into our elective institutions, even up to about 40%. Money launderers, wash wash players, uh, criminals, drug dealers, and all those, because they are the only ones who can access that amount of money. They will be writing laws for you, and they will allow themselves to allow that gambling and all those things to thrive in this country. That was Matiangi in April here in Nairobi. On Tuesday this week, the National Security Boss was back at it this time before a rather aptly named conference on criminal justice system reforms in Naivasha. The amount of money being spent in the campaigns out here is incredible and totally crazy. We are going to have an unprecedented case of voter bribery in Kenya during these elections. And as I've said before, and I'm not shy to say it here again today, uh, if we are not very careful as a country, we're going to launder into elective institutions, drug dealers, uh, uh, criminals of unprecedented standards. The chilling warnings in Nairobi and Naivasha were identical almost word by word. Money launderers, what to a wash wash, are controlling campaign funding, and at least 40% of them may end up in the Houses of Parliament. Now, that is nerve wracking stuff. It is terrifying. 40% is huge, especially if this is in addition to whatever number we may already have. C.S. Matiangi, this is scary, alarming, unsettling, even distressing. But I have one question to Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi. My question is very simple, and I must admit, my question is not even original. Here is my simple question, Mr. Matiangi. Unataka tufanye nini? Yes, C.S., you have told us, warned us, advised us, notified us, and even cancelled us that if we as Kenyans are not careful, money launderers will constitute 40% of our next elected leadership after the August election. So, unataka tufanya nini? But I also ask in jest because this cry baby culture among people charged with such solemn national responsibilities is no longer new. Compared to 2017, where we managed to contain political temperatures, stop candidates from tearing each other's posters, harassing each other in campaign venues, we were, our teeth were removed. We don't have any teeth. So that one is toothless. In what Kenyans must find truly troubling, it has become regular to see senior public officials in very critical positions of responsibility turning into whipping babies and wailing experts who mistakenly think it is a measure of good performance for them to lament and sound helpless in public. It is, to say the least, a most irritating and utterly irresponsible behavior. Here is to Fred Matiangi, the Cabinet Secretary for Interior. Stop it. Stop your lamentations. Money laundering is actually a crime in Kenya under the Proceeds of Crime and Anti-Money Laundering Act. If you have witnessed such a flood of wash wash of money launderers at work, act, don't talk. On this one, it is also advisable to make more use of your closed office and boardrooms 
than conference platforms. That is where quietly and diligently appointed persons that include yourself, the police inspector general, the director of criminal investigations, DCI, can plan on how to put to work the state instruments of law and order. Go catch those money launderers and take them to court because it is the perfectly lawful and dutiful thing to do. Don't lament, act. Because if you don't, unataka tufanye nini. That is my kicker. Thank you.